I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa, where a disturbing report has been released by the federal government on workplace harassment. The report is based on findings after consultations on this troubling issue, and it finds that 60% of respondents have dealt with some form of harassment on the job within the last two years. A third of those incidents were sexual harassment, a fifth involved violence, and 3% were sexual violence. It's never all right. And regardless of the uh, power or influence or money or fame of uh, the person doing the harassment, uh, it's never excusable and uh, it should never be kept hidden. While many people already know harassment remains a widespread problem, what's shocking some on Parliament Hill is that around 80% of these victims say they didn't report the incidents out of fear of retribution or lack of action. You know, issues of vulnerability around job loss, for example, or uh, in some cases, the inability to move up, or will someone take me seriously? Harassment is an issue that the employment minister unfortunately knows all too well. She says she's dealt with it several times through her career, including when she was 14 years old working as a babysitter. Now, she says she luckily had the support she needed to get through it, but for others, it's not always the case. These kinds of things create trauma, they create mental illness, they create substance use problems, they create family breakdown. Now these consultations are happening because the federal government is trying to create a new strategy to deal with workplace harassment across the country. People who were asked about it say they want to see better education and training for supervisors and their colleagues. Meanwhile, employers who were asked about it said if new rules or laws are being put in place, they want to see the focus on improving the internal processes for companies rather than options like bringing in a neutral third party when a complaint is made. The minister is not giving any hints as to what will be in the new strategy, but she does say that details should be forthcoming in the near future. In Ottawa, Cormac McSweeney, City News.